Do you know whether or not you should do la bise during a job interview? How about what information you should and shouldn't share about yourself? If you have questions and are looking for some answers, you're in luck because today I'll be sharing 13 French job interview questions and how to respond to them so that you feel confident interviewing in your second language. I'm Kritika from Fluent U, and we want to help you learn French through real-world videos so you can speak just like a native. In today's video, I'll be sharing 10 questions that you may be asked in a French job interview, possible responses and tips to respond, as well as questions you can ask the employer at the end of an interview. Be sure to watch the whole video because I will be giving you cultural tips throughout that are going to be key to having a successful interview. Question 1. Parlez-moi de votre expérience professionnelle. Talk to me about your professional experience. This is the question to which you will respond with your previous job experience and how it relates to this current position that you're applying to. Even if your parcours or trajectory appears a bit décousu or lacking coherence, not so straightforward at first glance, it's up to you to create a coherent narrative. A great way to do this is to explain how the skills that you obtained in your previous positions are going to make you a great fit for the job that you're currently applying to. Let's take a look at a sample response. For all these sample responses, I will give the response in French, but we do have the English translation at the bottom in case you're confused on a couple words. Let's say you're applying for a job at a tutoring agency. Start with your previous education or work experience. Pendant mes études, je travaillais comme guide touristique et puis j'ai travaillé quatre ans comme comptable au sein d'une agence de voyage. Then connect it to how it brings you to this interview as a great candidate. Aujourd'hui, je suis intéressée par votre entreprise car elle me permettrait de relier ma passion pour le partage de mes connaissances en art et en histoire et mon caractère minutieux. Question 2. Quel est votre parcours scolaire? What is your academic background? While in many Anglophone contexts, employers want to know what kind of education you've had after your high school, in French, it's very common to mention the type of baccalauréat, which is the high school diploma, and what year you obtained it in. There are three types of high school diplomas that French students usually receive. The categories are general, professional, and technical. I know many of you did not attend high school in France, so just mention the year in which you finished high school and any degrees that you earned thereafter. To mention a general degree of some sort, you would use the word un diplôme, and if you want to be more specific, use une licence for your bachelor's degree and une maîtrise for a master's degree. If you have any other type of certification, you can use une attestation. Après avoir obtenu mon baccalauréat en 2006 aux états unis j'ai poursuivi mes études en histoire de l'art et j'ai obtenu une licence en 2010. Question 3. Quels sont vos centres d'intérêt? What are your interests? Upon hearing this question, don't share your favorite TV shows or that you've picked up watercoloring. When your interviewer asks you this, they likely want to know your on-the-job personality, how you'll get along with coworkers, as well as how you charge your batteries outside of work. So try to craft a response in which your hobbies highlight some of your awesome characteristics, like if you're kind or dynamic or you take initiative. For example, your dedication to a particular sport can show that you're a committed, dynamic, and team-spirited person. Or if you love traveling, it can convey an ouverture d'esprit or an open-mindedness. And if you want to convey that you are open-minded, you can say je suis ouvert ou ouverte d'esprit. Overall, make sure you stick to the facts and don't add too much fluff or any jokes. A lot of people describe French interviews to be a lot more formal than some other interviews you might have experienced. I might say something like, j'adore lire et apprendre les langues, donc pendant mon temps libre, j'essaie de créer des vidéos sur la langue et la culture. Some sentence starters for this response could be, pendant mon temps libre, to simply express what you like doing during your free time, simply j'adore ou j'aime, or you can even say, je travaille sur un projet, if you have a cool personal project going on. I know these seem like really easy sentence starters, but what I want to emphasize is that don't overthink it, especially to express your qualifications and your interests, the sentences can be really easy, so just be confident. 
For our first cultural tip, let's talk about la bise. Even though la bise, or the French cheek kissing, is a staple in French society, and it's not even uncommon to see colleagues greet each other this way, you should consider la bise to be strictement interdit during an interview. Instead, you should firmly shake hands with the person who is interviewing you and make sure you make eye contact and smile. Question 4. Pourquoi voulez-vous quitter votre travail actuel? Why do you want to leave your current position? When responding to this potentially prickly question, make sure that you use some tact. Never bash your current workplace even though the work might be tiring and your boss is driving you up a wall. Instead, you should focus this question around yourself. A great way to do this is to indicate that you would like future growth in your career. Let's take a look at some sample responses. J'ai envie de relever de nouveaux défis. Je suis intéressé par de nouvelles responsabilités qui me permettront de mettre mon expérience et mes acquis en valeur. Here's another example. Je suis quelqu'un d'ambitieux et je souhaite évoluer vers un poste qui n'est pas disponible au sein de mon lieu de travail actuel. I highly recommend preparing your response to this question beforehand because it's almost guaranteed that your interviewer will ask it. Even with all these simple responses though, I know it can be very difficult to imagine a job interview in your second language because even in your first language, job interviews are hard enough. That's why I really recommend a platform like FluentU because we show you different examples of things like French job interviews. For example, this video is a nice look into what a job interview might look like and it'll also get you used to some of the filler expressions so that your interview is not a rigid question and answer session but flows more smoothly like a conversation. It's also a great way to familiarize yourself with some job related vocabulary like in this sentence for example we have the word mission which means assignments or jobs or tasks and you can also see some sample sentences and sample videos so that you can see how this word is used in other sentences. There is a link to a free trial of FluentU in the description and it's one of the best tools out there to help you speak like a native. Question 5. Puis-je appeler votre ancien employeur? May I call your former employer? Unless you were involved in a messy lawsuit or were fired, you should respond to this question with the affirmative Oui, bien sûr. If you did leave your previous position on not-so-great terms with your boss, this question will require some maneuvering. One strategy would be to gently guide your interviewer to people who weren't necessarily your boss, but who can attest to your work ethic nonetheless. Si l'objet de votre demande est d'échanger avec des personnes qui m'ont vu travailler, je peux vous proposer d'échanger avec Monsieur Leroy et Madame Watteau, les deux directeurs de mon équipe. Giving the names of three to four people should be sufficient damage control. Question 6. Quand serez-vous disponible pour commencer? When will you be ready to start? When you hear this question, there should be no hesitation on your part. You should confidently say le plus tôt possible, as early as possible. Although there are several logistical factors to take into consideration when giving your start date, all of these logistics are for you to figure out at home. Obviously, most employers know that le plus tôt possible doesn't mean right away like tomorrow. And most employers will require une ou deux semaines de préavis or one or two weeks notice. For our second cultural tip, let's talk about which form of you you should use. Tu or vous? This is a pretty straightforward answer. Vous is basically the gold standard no matter what. On the off chance that you get a very laid back interviewer who is addressing you with tu, I would still say stick to vous unless they specifically say tu peux me tutoyer, tu peux me tutoyer. Don't be intimidated by this because you know all those fancy sentences that you memorized in high school. This is the time to let them shine using the formal register. By the way, if you're liking this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Question 7. Quelles sont, selon vous, les qualités requises pour ce travail? What are, according to you, the qualities that are required for this job? In order to effectively answer this question, you need to know la fiche de poste like the back of your hand, and then draw as many parallels as you can between what's expected of employees and your previous experience. Here's a sample response. Selon moi, ce type de poste exige avant tout un esprit d'équipe et un caractère minutieux. C'est d'ailleurs exactement ce que m'apportait mon travail au sein de l'agence de voyage. I would definitely include more detail in your personal responses and try to include as many tangible things from your past employment as you can. 
Question 8. Quels sont vos points forts? What are your strengths? This is your moment to shine. Make sure you sell yourself well, without exaggerating of course, and highlight some of the best qualities that you have, maybe two to three is good, and be confident in your response. Of course, highlighting your qualities and your strengths is not enough. You need to have anecdotes prepared to prove these qualities, basically. Here's an example. Je suis persévérante et résistante. En effet, j'ai participé à un tournoi de golf l'année dernière et j'ai échoué au premier tour. Je me suis beaucoup entraînée et l'année suivante, je me suis inscrite et j'ai gagné la compétition. Je ne me suis pas découragée et je pense que c'est une qualité nécessaire pour être cadre. Il ne faut pas avoir peur de l'échec. Au contraire, cela doit être une source de motivation. Notice that I created a good balance of adjectives or qualities about myself, verbs or things I actually did, and a result. This is a great format to use when putting together your anecdotal responses, and it's another easy thing that you can definitely prepare beforehand. Question 9. Quelles sont vos faiblesses? What are your weaknesses? Some might think of this as la question qui tue, the fatal question, because responding to this question too literally is a no-no. This is not the time to talk about your anxieties or just bash on yourself. You need to show a good balance of self-awareness and a desire to improve. Also, make sure you don't pretend that you don't have any faults because of course we all have them. And don't be that person that says, oh, my greatest weakness is I work too hard and love my job too much. Don't be that person. Here are some sample responses. Je suis un peu timide, mais lorsque je commence à me sentir bien dans un groupe, je suis capable de m'investir. I also want to point out the usage of the word lorsque. It's a bit fancier way of saying when, but the nuance is that it means once, so you can't always use lorsque in the place of quand. But when it is applicable to use lorsque, it will definitely elevate your responses and make you sound a little more formal. Here's another example. J'ai une petite tendance à être soucieuse lorsqu'on me confie un travail très difficile ou complexe, mais c'est par souci de bien faire les choses. Lorsque je me trouve dans cette situation, je valide mon travail plus souvent auprès de mon supérieur. For our third cultural tip, let's discuss small talk. In certain Anglophone contexts, it's quite common to have some chit-chat take place before people get to business, but this is far less common in French-speaking contexts. Your interviewer is less likely to ask about your summer holiday or if you've seen the most recent film. They'll likely get straight to the questions, so make sure that you're on topic with all your responses as well. Question 10. Vous avez des questions? Do you have any questions? Pretty much every job interview will end with this question, and even if everything seems crystal clear, it's not an option to say no. This is your moment to shine and show your interviewer how curious and enthusiastic you are. Here are a few questions that you can ask in case you're having trouble coming up with some. Question 11. Avec combien de personnes vais je travailler? How many people will I be working with? Asking this question is a great way to show that you're already projecting yourself into your future position and you're looking forward to some teamwork. Question 12. Pourquoi ce poste est-il disponible aujourd'hui? Why is this position currently vacant? Is the company hiring because someone went on maternity leave or le congé de maternité, meaning that they will eventually come back? Or is it because quelqu'un a pris sa retraite? or someone retired, meaning that they have exited the job market. By asking this prudent question, you're conveying a concern for your future at the company and showing some interest in staying long-term. Question 13. Comment se déroule une journée type? What does a typical workday look like? If you're applying to a management position where you're expected to be a self-starter and actually lead others, this might not be a great question to ask. But if you are going to be working under someone and working with other people, it's a great way to show that you're interested in the day-to-day -day workings of the company, how the company culture is like, and it's a great way to also initiate some further conversation with your interviewer. To end your interview on a good note, make sure that when you get up from your chair, you shake the interviewer's hand once again, smile, look them in the eye, and be confident and say, Je vous remercie beaucoup. 
saying, I thank you very much for your time. Of course, an interview is not over once you exit the door, so make sure to send a five to six line email where you reiterate your enthusiasm for the position and re-express your appreciation for your interviewer's time. In your message, make sure you mention some of the highlights of the interview, like if the interviewer mentioned a new series of products that they're working on. This is a great way to just slide in that you're really excited to be part of an innovative environment. Je serais ravie de faire partie d'un environnement novateur. You can also reiterate a couple of the skills that are required for the job and reassert how your profile fits the bill. If you enjoyed this video, you need to check out our previous video on French pronunciation mistakes to avoid. That way you'll feel really confident with your French accent and pronunciation. I've also included a free PDF below of all of these questions and sample responses so that you can really study them whenever you want.